Hey guys, how are you? I hope you all are doing great and welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm going to show you a full review of the latest Rastroid ROM for our Redmi Note 11. As you can see here, Redmi Note 11 is in my hands and this is the Rastroid. And uh, as you can see here, it is based on Android 13. Uh, Rastroid's version is uh, 8.6 and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 November 2022. And the ROM is pretty much stable and this is the official update of Rastroid for our Redmi Note 11. It will work on both models Redmi Note 11 and Redmi Note 11 NFC. So in this video I will be showing you its full review and I will also show you how you can install it on your Redmi Note 11. So without any further ado, let's get started. So first of all let's talk about its stability. Uh, there is no any single bug or issue in this room. Everything is just working fine. Wi-Fi wi is working. Uh, Bluetooth is working fine. Hotspot. Uh, mobile data is working fine. And uh, I don't know if the Volti uh, is working or not because Volti is not available in my country. And Wu Wi-Fi is also not available in my country. And but we will be having a look if these things work on this device. So first of all, let's talk about its uh, stability and performance. As you can see here, its performance is really sleek and it is just opening the applications pretty much quickly and uh, there is no any single bug or issue in this ROM and as you can see here, uh, if we talk about the applications, there is no any uh, junky application pre-installed as you can see here, there are only a few and needed applications pre-installed right here as you can see here and because this is a vanilla build for now uh, but in the uh, future update uh, the GFs build will be available so no need to be worried about it so first of all let's talk about the camera and in the camera here we have this simple camera pre-installed right here as you can see here you can simply take photos uh, capture videos and you can also scan any document right from here and if you want more features like uh, portrait mode and uh, all other features then you can go for the gcam mode from google that's the application and if we talk about the home screen in the home screen here we have some customization options like first of all we have the icon options home screen app drawer options and then we have some uh, i don't know why it just restarted the launcher then we have app drawer right here recents and in the recents uh, you can simply enable some of the quick actions which will be shown right at the bottom as you can see here here we also have the free and the total ram right here and here we have some option like screenshot pin and clear art and other options so then we have misc in the misc we have some other options and here we also get the hidden and protected apps uh, you can simply hide or protect the application using this option no need to install any third party application and then you can reward them. This is the sushi launcher by the way. Then we have widgets option. From here you can add any widget uh, to the home screen. And OnePlus widgets are also available as you can see here. Because it is based on the OnePlus source. And then we have wallpaper and styles. And from the wallpaper style from here you can change the wallpaper. And here we have some wallpaper pre-installed as you can see here. Then uh, here we have wallpaper colors. You can also access the ba uh, basic colors. Here we have dark theme, you can also enable the themed icons. I don't know why there is no option to enable the themed icons. In the themed icon here we also uh, only have the system icons. Then you can change the app grid. Now let's have a look on the settings. So first of all let's have a look on the quick settings. The quick setting of this ROM looks like this. Pretty much simple like other Android 13 ROMs. And at the bottom here we have setting and restart option right here and uh, advanced remote is also available as you can see here now let's have a look on the customizations this room is pretty much sleek and smooth as you can as you guys can check it is just uh, working pretty much smoothly by using this uh, room we can actually take advantage of 90 hz refresh rate display and in the settings first of all here we have uh, owner uh, user menu right here, search option, connectivity options, personalizations and in the personalizations it just looks uh, pretty much cool it comes with the new UI you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand it just designed like this then we have about us then we have device center from here you can block the sensors here we have uh, gaming space that means you can use it as a gaming device because it is pretty much smooth and sleek and uh, and here we have some options 
you can also add the any game and into the library of this uh, uh, game space then we have skelet services sleep mode then we have lock screen settings here we also have the ambient display so it just looks like pretty much cool on it as you can see here it works pretty much beautiful and it looks pretty much cool I will be using it then we have some other options and uh, here we have some other lock screen options then we have misc in the misc we have pocket mode smart pixels which will reduce the pixel uh, from the screen and it will reduce the power consumption then we have weather Netflix spoof then we have unlock higher FPS in games uh, these features are really amazing features like Netflix spoof unlock higher FPS in games and unlimited photo storage these options really make sense in this room and uh, this is a plus point for this room and you can simply unlock the higher FPS in the games to uh, get more smoothness in the games and you can also get the unlock unlimited photo storage then we have notification options and the quick setting options then we have status bar from here you can uh, get some icon settings here we have battery style like a lot of battery styles are available like as you can see here let's try portrait ios and it just looks like these landscape you can use any of these and uh, Circle is also available, Portrait, MX, Capsule, so you can also enable or disable the battery percentage, uh, left or right, then we have brightness control over status bar, uh, colored icons, clock and date setting, you can also enable the logo for the right side, as you can see here, you can also change its style right from here as you can see here let's uh, use xbox as you can see here it looks pretty much cool then we have uh, some other options like you can enable the network indicators and here we have other icon settings then we have sound and vibration here we have in color vibration and adaptive playback and pulse right here then we have user interface from here you can change the phone style you can change the icon pack you can change the monitor settings you can set up any custom color to the monad and uh, here we also have the themes option you can use any of these and uh, then we have navbar style power menu style uh, let's try this grid one and it just looks like this let's use classic one it is like this legacy it is like this light it is look like this let me use the grid one it looks pretty much minimalistic then we have off screen screen of animation signal icon styles system shapes wi-fi icon style and some other uh, lock screen user interface settings and then we have uh, nothing and after it here we have display and in the display here we have all uh, previous options like brightness level adaptive brightness lock screen screen timeout dark theme display size and text and you can also make the text bold and high contrast right from here small at width and here we have night mode you can change its intensity too it's just working pretty much fine then we have light display colors from here you can choose the color profile then we have rotation and here we have uh, the option to uh, set up the peak refresh rate to 90 hertz or 60 hertz you can also set the minimum refresh rate to 60 hertz or 90 hertz uh, these options really make this room uh, more uh, valuable and here we also have this smooth display option which was not present in uh, previous two rooms then we have display cutout tap to wake tap to sleep and the dc dim dimming is also available it will uh, uh, then we have wallpaper and style application notification battery the battery performance of this room the battery backup of this room is also pretty much impressive here we have thermal profiles battery usage daily battery usage chart and here we have a battery saver we don't have the extreme battery saver in this room and here we have battery manager and you can also note the battery temperature from the bottom then we have storage sound and vibration in the sound and vibration uh, let me check if we have Dolby Atmos or any sound enhancer and here we have the direct sound enhancer 
pre-installed in this ROM so it is just a really good feature of this ROM it really makes sense but we don't have the Dolby Atmos and uh, then we have uh, accessibility security now if we talk about the security all security options are available and working in this ROM like screen locks are available fingerprint is just working and you can also use the face unlock uh, as well in this ROM as you can see here you can set up any uh, own screen lock plus fingerprint plus face unlock in this room as you can see here so no need to be worried about it security of this room is really impressive then we have uh, privacy location safety emergency google system in the system we have languages and input uh, buttons this room is really loaded with the customizations here you can enable the taskbar which will be uh, enabled in the bottom of the screen you can access the uh, applications right from here you can simply go to any application and you can switch to any application straight from the taskbar it is really a beautiful feature so then we have edge long swipe action power menu option and you can enable or disable the advanced reboot then we have some other options and then we have live translate system profiles gesture in the gesture double tap to check and then we have swipe three finger for screenshot it is working fine then we have quickly open camera system navigation bar one-handed mode which is one of my favorite mode and you can simply operate the whole screen by using only one hand then we have press and hold power button prevent ringing and then we have date and time backup update rules multiple users and reset option maybe we also have the updater because this is the official build of restored whenever the update will come OD update will come you can download it from the updater right from here uh, you can simply check uh, day by day if any update is coming so from the about phone section you can check your android version and restored version which is the 8.6 and android version is all the way latest android 30 and its security patch is also all the way latest 5 November 2022 and if you are looking for a best custom ROM which will fulfill your all requirements then this one is the one of the most stablest uh, custom ROMs I ever had tried and there is no any single bug or issue and the GFs build will be available uh, after some time and uh, whenever it will be available I will be making one video and I will make a video on it and uh, the installation process of this ROM is pretty much simple like other ROMs just download the ROM from the link in the description and by the way the installation instructions are also available in the same download link you can go and follow the instructions to install this ROM just simply download the ROM and reboot your device into an installed custom recovery like PWRP recovery go to wipe and just format the data and then go back to install and flash the downloaded ROM and you can also flash any recovery to make it permanent then uh, go back to reboot and reboot to system and the ROM will be installed on your Redmi Note 11. So this was the video for today. I hope you guys like this video. If you really did hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Keep supporting. Thanks for watching. Peace. Uh, if you have any question or queries about this ROM then let us know in the comment section and by the way you can also join us on the telegram. The telegram group and channel link is in the description. Keep supporting. Peace.